this game we started at 30 and then we finally went through and then played lunch. And uh, even at the start of 30, it took a little bit. We had some chances. We got going the crossbar. We get the lead 5 1, and we get those couple penalties. And we get some light. It looked like our guys just kind of let off the gas in for a little bit. Strong. Lots of positives. You get 17 shots when your two superstars made a car. And I think Miko had five. But if you could just comment on the effort of those three guys. Well, I, I, again, I thought, you know, Max is the rest of our team. I thought those guys led the way for sure. Um, I was talking this morning with Kayla and the score now. Yeah. And, uh, uh, they, both of those guys, not just their shots, but you know, they they were just a real good awareness. If they had a shooting lane, they took it. They were dangerous in the interior ice. If they didn't like it, they were dishing it off to someone else who's put themselves in the scoring position. Um, it was the car's goal, right? They get you in the scoring position, walking through those heads up because it might be shot lane, it might stay on the backside, uh, get back to the um, back door of the net, and keep playing as many as you can. So, just real good awareness, taking what they did the other day, creating out with their speed. After two, it's one one. And you know, we asked Nate like what the feeling the locker room was. He says, like normally you'll say something and, and tell them what they were doing wrong. Tonight he said he just said, you know, keep what doing what you're doing. When it's that tight when you guys have outplayed them so much, what, what's the thought process for you for the guys? Stick with it. You know, like you feel the rhythm of our game tonight. I felt it. Um We've had some games like that recently where we felt we were playing really good and that we just stuck with it, that we can get the one or two that we needed to win the whole game. Um, and when we finally go through the third period, we got a, a handful. And so for me, there was just minor corrections, some things that we saw after the first, a couple things we saw after the second, but really it was just maintaining what we were doing. And part of that was a checking and getting above box, which allowed it stay up uh, and sort of shut down their rush and turn to some transition we were skating really well shooting puck in the offensive zones we like what we see we just wanted to be able to turn out points and started out that way and, you know I think uh, we were a little unfortunate to be tied at one one after two um, but we finally broke through and I think uh, as John had said the, the, our, our big guns kind of led the way in that final day Based on what we were talking about this this morning, about like some of you know, focusing on the details and trying out some things, it seems like this game. I wonder if you agree with like you make this a video poll because it shows everything that can happen for you guys when you play a game the right way. And like you said, just throw up the gas, what can happen? Right. Do, you, do you agree with that way? Like this, yeah, I do. this is sort of like a perfect teaching moment, too, right? Yeah, it is because. You know, I didn't love our penalties either, you know, like, so we get it, you know, we get the 5-1 and that's part of it to put up the gas. It's a discipline part of it. It's every aspect of the game you have to sharpen up. So um, I like the resiliency of our group, you know, all the way through 1-1 one, one, and then turning it into 5-1, which is great. It shows you what can happen. I don't really care what the score is after one period or two periods. Six or 65, if that's what it takes. Uh, it's more about the rhythm of our game and those things that are going to come into play. Um, but that's, to me, that was as good as we think we've done that through the 15 years. And then, um, you know, a little pause in that game, and they, they make a push back, and, and uh, it ends up being way closer and could have tied and what it would have been safe to do again. But, uh, so, yeah, I see the same way you do. I think we have to look at you know, the way we can play as well. So, that's the part of what we can do. Was Burkhoff's team injured? He was, yeah. He took a shot. It's um, so a bomb. So, uh, he did. Any reason, any reason why Eric Johnson was kept on the team? What? I'm starting. Yeah, thanks. Yeah.